After all of the drama and mishaps of landslides and flat tires from the previous day's adventure, we find shelter at this beautiful family's guest house and we experience one of the most heartwarming local experiences to date. But things are gonna change. This is Vietnam, there's gonna be rain, there's gonna be more flat tires, but maybe, just maybe, we'll end up somewhere absolutely incredible. Enjoy this episode. Okay, welcome back. Um, the lady here who runs this guest house that I conveniently had a flat tire just outside, she's inviting me for dinner with her family at 7 p.m. But it's half past three and I haven't eaten anything all day and I'm starving. So she's gonna cook me some noodles with egg. Someone's gonna come and fix the bike. I'm gonna sleep here tonight, enjoy this area. Tomorrow morning, wake up and explore this lake, which looks absolutely beautiful. Fingers crossed the weather is good. And then we'll hit the road. And hopefully we won't get any more flat tires because we had two yesterday or today, but in the previous video. <laughs> Look how muddy my shoes are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Double bed. Shoes, okay. And have a look at this million dollar view. Right. <laughs> wow. It's a shame my room doesn't have a window. But I'll be coming out here in the morning for a coffee. This is Ba Bay Lake. Even in a lightning storm and rain, covered in mud and a broken bike and starving, it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Some fried noodles, some omelette sliced up on top, and some greens. Don't see any meat, but that's fine. Let's cover this in chili sauce. And this is gonna last 30 seconds. <laughs> The day before I flew to Vietnam, I bought a Nintendo Switch. Because there's quite a lot of dying time when you're traveling solo, you know? I drive and I have an adventure and I film for you and I edit, obviously. You know, here's all my gear lined up on the table. Obviously, I just flew the drone to show you this amazing lake and to see just how epic it is in every direction. It's incredible, right? But yeah, there's a kid staying here and I wonder if he wants to play. He's ever played before? So you're in the bus, we're gonna jump out of the bus and we're gonna kill everybody. See here, B jump. Some buffalo. The little baby one.
Well, we are too. I didn't. What I said was we are too reliant. I mean, Gareth said it himself. They they are too reliant on Kane as the, especially with the players we have. When so that's a concern. Is it, it is not? a concern. God knows how many assists and Mason Mount is near the top of the assist charts for Chelsea and scoring good goals for them. I'm trying my first Vietnamese coffee here into this glass and it looks like that there's condensed milk at the bottom here. Oh wow, that's sweet. My jeans are still wet and my bike is still broken. So I think I'm gonna go on a boat and go explore this lake and hopefully my jeans and my bike are ready to go when I get back. All right. Wow. Look at this. And to think we would never have stopped here if we hadn't have broken down. So everything happens for a reason. Hello. 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 All right. Yeah. Hello. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Xin chào. Xin chào. Xin chào. What does Xin chào mean, guys? Hey. Hello. 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 It must mean hello. I thought he said sit down. So I just sat on a plastic chair, and they looked at me like, "What are you doing?" I'm paying 200,000 dong or 10 US dollars for a one hour tour and we're gonna go check out this temple. <sighs> Sin Jiao. Sit down. <laughs> So this particular deity seems to appreciate sugary sweet things because the Vietnamese people here are leaving boxes of cookies, cans of coke, chocolate pies, burning incense. So there's no fruit um, or money offerings here. It's obviously a very sweet toothed deity. And I see Buddha images at the top and I see dragons wrapped around the roof. So it's a Buddhist temple. I just don't find any information online or anywhere here in English about what this is, but it's beautiful and these flags in this rainforest humid little island on this lake. It's quite beautiful and quite unique. Is this a snack? Complimentary snack. bit dry. Let me try it with the chili sauce. So much better.
the Vietnamese word for hello sounds like the English word for sit down. <laughs> That's why I sat down. Xin chào, sit down. <laughs> Stupid foreigner. Alright, thank you so much. Bye 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 bye. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Oh, click stand. <laughs> so guess how much they charged me for a night in a private room with that view, right? Noodles when I arrived, dinner with the family in the evening, two cold beers, some rum with banana in it. A big bowl of uh, noodles again this morning. A private tour of the lake and visiting the temple. And just all around really hospitable, welcoming experience. Guess how much? It was 520,000 Vietnamese dong, which is around 22 US dollars, which is absolutely ridiculously cheap. So if you're in, Northern Vietnam. You want to come see a beautiful lake with some cool family? The link to their hotel is in the description. Today we're trying to get to a town called Cabao, but there's been quite a lot of problems on the road. The landslides, I've also seen a lot of police checkpoints, but luckily I've just driven past some, but our luck is going to run out eventually and we'll see what they want. They seem to be just stopping local people, checking helmets, checking licenses, so Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. But anyway, <laughs> another adventure as always awaits us in front. We need fuel and we've got a day to ride through these beautiful mountains of Northern Vietnam. So let's go. Jumping down on, babe. What is it? Is it yummy? <sighs> this is such a beautiful moment for me right now. <sighs> Riding on the road, open road, solo. You guys with me, crossing a beautiful bridge. I mean, have a look at the scenes here. And I got Taylor Swift in my ear singing a nice song. <laughs> oh, life doesn't get any better than this. I want her to notice what I don't notice. Between us now, it's just like miles. Pick it up. And I've only ever fit inside the shadows. But I'm here. I'm
Bruce's got a flat tyre. Again, number three, third wheel in two days. Hello? Hey, John. Okay, so as annoying as getting a flat tyre is, I think we've actually potentially found the reason. So I told him using Google Translate to have a really good look at this tyre because three flats in less than, just over 24 hours is not normal. I think I had five flat tyres in 13 months in Thailand and every single time it was a pin or a nail and it was just bad luck. And when he inspected this, we looked, he showed me inside, there's so much wear and tear and thin, thinned out areas that I think it's just causing the punctures. So I'm gonna bite the bullet and purchase a brand new tire and a new inner tube and we'll hopefully fix the constant flat tires because it's costing me about 100,000 dong per flat tire. That's 300,000 in one day. Now, if we keep doing this for three months, <laughs> you do the math. So let's purchase a new tire and let's hope that this doesn't happen anymore because it's proper annoying. Okay, thanks, yeah. bye. As much as I love boosting the Vietnamese economy by getting a flat tire in seemingly every village, <laughs> uh, we've upgraded the tire. We've got a sexy brand new rubber tire. And it cost me 400,000 dong, plus the new inner tube. So that should hopefully solve that issue. If I get another flat tire later on, like in an hour, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> One hour to Khao Bawa. I think that's correct. We'll rest there tonight. I heard there's pizza there. It's official. That was one of the best days on the road so far. Not just in Vietnam, but in my entire life. Waking up at that lake and having that really beautiful local experience with the family was incredible. Followed by a very adventurous, rainy, mountain, twisty road all the way to a city in the northern mountains. Once I arrived, I checked into a guest house and I paid 400,000 dong. The room was very clean and comfortable and I had a really nice hot shower followed by some beers and some pizza. This town seemed really cool, and we were gonna be using this as a base for the next few days as we explore some of the most incredible scenes in northeastern Vietnam. What we're about to experience is some of the most mind-blowing scenes I've ever seen, and one of the most incredible waterfalls on planet Earth. But all of this will have to wait until next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.